Hello, welcome back to Loose and Harlock. Hello. Yo. Me and Harry have been, uh, this week, there's been a lot of news regarding us very- Wait, wait, wait. What episode of Yoshi, or is it Yoshi? What episode of Yoshi did we talk about the Mario thing? It was early. It was like episode two. It was like the final. No, no, no. It was the last episodes, right? So it was like, uh, it, it's later on. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's going to be slightly mismatched. All right. Should we, should we just talk about like console names and then go into that in a, the next episode? Sure. All right. Fuck the Xbox Series <laughs> X and X, Xbox Series S name. Bro, X and S. Like, you can get those confused so easily. Xbox Sex it's is like, a sick ass nickname. <laughs> excuse me, one Xbox Sex, please. Uh, once you're having Thunder Herd, go? go ahead and land. Okay, so you're you're headed to uh, our big homeboy. Fuck this dude. I think this is the last the last thing I did in this game was right. No. <laughs> I believe. I think so. the last thing I did in this game was uh. Go against the boss. Where the fuck is he? He's vibing. <clears throat> um, yeah, the, those names are so bad. Like the tweet I read, where it just said a bunch of words together. <laughs> like, bro. I okay. sent you. I sent you the one that was like, um, the Kingdom Hearts naming. <laughs> <laughs> like Xbox has like. The worst track record of names. Xbox. Like Three. Xbox and Xbox 360, fine. Everything after that, horrible. I don't. I told you. We, you and I, you and I disagreed on this. I don't think Xbox One is that bad of a name. But com compare like, where it is in the lineup doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. But compared to Xbox <laughs> Series X, Xbox One is fine. Doesn't mean I think it's a good name. It just means that comparatively, it's a far better name. <laughs> Is yes. it? Yes. <laughs> it's the third console in a series, and it's called Xbox One. They could have just. They should have just pulled a Final Fantasy, like American Final Fantasy. Hold up, Roman numerals. No, 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 no. They should have just been like Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox X2. One, and then just Xbox Four. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, fuck it. We know we skipped them. We're just gonna go straight to what it actually is, because that's what they did here in the West. I thought you're gonna say some shit. I thought you're gonna say some shit where it was like Xbox X2. No, no, no. Because in uh, America, I know, I know, America. For uh, anybody who isn't aware, uh, we didn't. We like for a while. We we didn't get Final Fantasy until like the third one. No, no, no. We got the first Final Fantasy on NES, and then the second and third one, which were on Famicom, never came here. So when Final Fantasy 4 was ported over, they renamed it 2. Final Fantasy 5 didn't come over, and Final Fantasy 6 was just renamed to 3. But instead of naming Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 4, they just kept it at 7. So in America for a while because we were just Sony was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? For a while in America we were literally just 1 2 3 7. <laughs> because Sony was like, you guys are stupid, just call it the number it is. It wasn't until like a uh, Late. It wasn't until like the Game Boy Advance ports of these games that they actually came out with like the proper titles. Uh, the Game Boy Advance remakes of these. <laughs> Fuck that stupid ass fucking names. <laughs> so it's Xbox. PlayStation Xbox on God has the best naming convention. It's simple. Xbox One. It's simple. Because it's so like it's super simple though. Like it's doing the bare minimum and it's winning because everyone else is just fucking around. Just PS One, PS Two. PS3, PS4. What's next? PS5. Insane. Actually, technically, there's like the PS Slim, and then the well, they're, the PS3 they're Slim, counted. PS3 they're Super counted. Slim. But they're not different consoles. No, they're not different hardware. It's just the same console but exactly. smaller. You're not gonna make any mistake. Like you're not gonna mistake. You're not gonna consider the Xbox One X and the original Xbox One as two different consoles. <laughs> they're the same shit. I mean, but they are. Like, there will be a difference if you buy it. So, Alright, so... Like, if you buy both of them... We have two like, options here. We can either go back to Skyloft, so you can do the goddess, the final Silent Realm, or you can try to do the boss mm -hmm. rush. Let's do Silent Realm first. This one is the hardest one. This is the only one that, like, I legitimately, like, I hate doing. 
The other three are pretty... I'll do a first the try. The first one is easy as hell. The second one is okay. The third one is like... I might die once, or like, I might get caught once. This, the Silent Realm, the Skyloft one took me forever. It like, actually took me forever. I think I, I think I spent like a week trying to beat it. A week? I guess I'm gonna have to do some off-screen mining. <laughs> you you, you right. have like five bomb upgrades. Where is it? It's in Skyloft. Alright. Is it in like uh, this place, this where, temple where thing? Or is it? Um, uh, where the fuck? Uh, it's just this in some random guy's yeah, house. You just, you have a you have the dowsing feature. Fuck, that will fucking look for it. <laughs> it's probably fucking here. There's why would it be in some random dude's house? You don't know that. <laughs> could be, in, <laughs> could be in like Jeffrey's house. Fuck Jeffrey. He's sick. He committed suicide. Not in this universe. He didn't. Fuck, what is the fucking... There we go. <laughs> it's not here? Oh, what? Where is it? Is it in the... Oh, I think, yeah, I think it's at the bottom of those steps. Oh, yeah, you can see this thing. Is it, is it, this? is it, is it in like the middle is, of the is plaza? It in here? No, it's not in there. Oh, well. <laughs> But this is... I'll just walk through it. Shortcut. They never have anything inside. I think it's like in the middle of the All plaza. Right. Sick. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's like right, right in front of there. Apparently, I heard on a podcast... <laughs> that what happened, why they called it the 360. It's cause... That's how many pounds After of cocaine Microsoft was on at the time? <laughs> Here it is. Alright, so what happened? How do I- Uh, take out your harp and start playing. How do I take that muffin? It's up out? on the d-pad. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> um... Alright, I don't know how to do this. I did not want- I, like... I didn't pay too much attention. You're just matching the rainbow. Sick. <laughs> it's cause, uh, he was- after the Xbox, the CEO was like, Well, we can't name an Xbox 2 if there's gonna be a PlayStation 3. We can't- we can't be the smaller number. That's the most fucking nah, ass fuck, backwards what do we do? naming convention we can't I've name it the Xbox heard. 3 because we've never had the Xbox 2. We never <laughs> skipped numbers. Dadgummit, we can't Microsoft. name it the Xbox 2. <laughs> never skips numbers. We must be superior. So they named it the 360. We must be the Xbox 360. <laughs> so it wouldn't be Xbox 2 and PS3. It would, it would be PS3 so and stupid. Xbox 360. Also, the internet is goofing. Um, I Just so the Harry. competitors couldn't look bigger. Thrust <sighs> your sword into my pussy, Link. This is, uh, this is optimal. Luis? That's exactly what I wanted in my life. <sighs> I can hear right. him now. There we go. <laughs> Did you hear what I was saying? It no? stopped that, uh, and they wanted it to name the Xbox 2. They, they didn't want it to name it the All Xbox right. so 2. So basically, they, they made the Xbox. And they were like, look at PlayStation, I and they the were making the PlayStation 3, and they are like, we cannot? No, I made the joke that we can't have an Xbox 2 against the PlayStation 3. 360, damn it! Yeah, that's exactly what happened. You have entered the last trial, last of the trials, the God of Silent Realm. Good luck, fucker. So how does this fucking work? Uh... Did you, did you not do any of the- oh, you didn't do any of the songs? I didn't do a single one. Um, basically... <laughs> this is my first one. Alright, so, to give you- that little portal that you're standing on right now, uh, mm -hmm. that is the only safe zone you get. If the minute you right. step out, everything is gonna try to kill you. So, so th I need to... that little flower pedestal you see on your left, don't step out right now. That little flower pedestal you see on your left, it gives you 90 seconds. Each time you collect one of the tiers of light, that gives you 60 seconds to be able to, um... Uh... The blue thing is a tier of life? Yes. Or whatever? Uh... 
that gives you 60 seconds to be able to collect another one. If you run out of time of those, no, not 60, 90 seconds. If you run out of time in those 90 seconds, then uh, the alert mode is going to happen again and everything's going to chase after you again. But do I have to collect it again? Uh, if you get killed, yes. God, oh. I do have a map open, but we're not together, so it's not going to be amazing, but, uh... I can't I help you this. slightly. Uh, right next to... There's going to be one right there. Yeah, I see it. Uh... Oh. Also, those fruits that you just collected, they shine a light on where everything is. Uh, including more fruit and, um... Where... Oh, no! This is bad. This is bad. You're right now. Oh, my God! Those are insta-kill, huh? Yes. Sick. So, no items. So I can't use those to collect things. Uh... Yep, thank you. Thank you, Fia. Like, I didn't know that. I appreciate you, Fia. <laughs> what is the speedrun strat here? Uh, collect the ones farthest out first, and then get the ones easiest. Uh... So... Let me see where like you're gonna first. have to go. Uh, they're like near the academy is where the farthest you're gonna have to go. Uh, the good, the only advantage to dying uh, is that all of the tiers that you have already collected do appear on your map. Sick. Oh, and that water will also alert them as well. Oh, who the fuck? Well, we got a nice chroma RGB water now. How the fuck? You have to tight rope I gotta, I gotta, I gotta run past that. Hey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't Dark Souls that. I went straight into the wall. These are fucking difficult. Nah, I got this. There's one right- oh, there's one on top of the tower right next to you. Can you give me longer episodes for this? Yeah. Uh... You wanna talk about- I would not re- I would not re I would not recommend, uh, going after that one first. I would recommend going after the one right in front- All right, so little oopsie doopsie fucks a wee weenie. My uh, fault. Uh, not uh, not Luis's fault. His hard drive like disconnected or something. Uh, yeah. And basically, what happened is his audio got lost, or uh, yeah. it, it stopped, and Luis didn't notice until way later because he was looking at the game, obviously. And this is I just want to start, and we're just gonna. Be doing an episode like regular, but with me over it. Um, let me mute my fucking self. All right. Uh, I just want to point out the fact that this has happened twice to us now, and it's both uh, times have been Zelda. Yeah. Um, Don't know why. I did really great at this part. I think. Oh For yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you did. Uh. I, I think. I think you time? did the Silent Realm without dying. Well, yeah, not dying, but I've been. I was caught. Like I think three. Four, three, four times, maybe? We'll see right now. But, basically, this part is just gonna be kind of podcasty. <laughs> maybe yeah. we'll look at the gameplay? Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. We, can't really, like, we, can't, we can't really react to something we already react. We already basically, did that shit. We're moving onward. Uh, uh, what Luis was talking about- hold on. What, Lu what Luis was talking about during the actual episode was about a manhwa. But I think we decided on saving that for a podcast that we might do. Just talking about manga. manga. Forthcoming. Yes. <laughs> Never comes. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> thing, the thing about the podcast that's like really weird to me is that like all of them are like now... I think like... I think... So what? So the one that you're... The manga one that you're talking about, that would be the seventh, right? <laughs> or would that be the... Yeah, right? We don't really need to number it. We no, just no, 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 but like, I like, I think it's just the, keeping the numbering that we already have already makes it less confusing. 
Yep. So, so the one that we have after The Last of Us Part 2 would be six? So that would be seven, right? <laughs> I, I guess. Um... Unless... No, no, wait, wait, all, the, the Halloween one. That we're gonna do. But I'm, I don't think we're numbering that one. Number it. In I case, think, for later sake, we gotta number it. I think it'll just be like... I, w I was like... I was thinking of a way Release to... Release for I was future thinking of an sake. Alternate, I was thinking yeah. of an altering, alter, alternate way to number it. Uh... Roman numerals? What the fuck are you talking about here? No, like, instead of like... <laughs> Instead of a uh, Loosen Harlock podcast number blah, it would be a uh, Loosen Harlock podcast special. I say we number in case it, it, it could be hard. Loosen Harlock. Uh, I mean, it'll have a title, so it'll be like Halloween special, all caps, or something. Cause but numbering it. Wait, hold on. But the way no, the, the reason I don't think numbering it is a good idea is that because it's now. It makes the numbering for everything else super fucking weird. How? Cause that would make it the fifth. Um, there's nothing wrong with it being the fifth. <laughs> Look, we, for some reason, we have a lot of podcasts in the backlog. <laughs> <laughs> Look, is it uh, our uh, fault? Uh, yes. <laughs> What? <laughs> like, I remember, like, uh, I was texting, uh, you, uh, sorry to bleep out her name, Larry. Uh, I was texting Brittany, and, uh, she, I was, like, telling her, she was like, oh, so you guys have done three podcasts, and I was like, well, yes, but <laughs> actually, no. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the way we do podcasts is because they don't have a set release date, they kind of are just there in case we, like, fuck up. The, or, or if sometimes- Scheduling-wise. S the, either that or sometimes with like the case of the uh the third podcast the original release of it uh it was literally that we just finished recording and we still had a lot of time left and we were just like yeah fuck it let's do a podcast usually sometimes when we do that it stays in the episode <laughs> but sometimes like we just we just it's just based on feeling usually the the third one and got separated because it was a specifically a topic that um, it's too took, too heavy. No, not too heavy. It, it was a uh, it, it's it's too it's too broad to maintain in like a fifth in like a th thirteen to fifteen minute like time limit for like seven episodes. Like it was it, it fit it fit for a podcast. That's why we decided to make it so. Um. And there's also the fourth one, which should be coming out very soon, I think. Uh, yeah. I th this episode comes out October 3rd? Yep. Uh, Tomorrow, yeah, so that uh, as I've been recording now. Uh, so that podcast <laughs> will be out on the 5th. Um, and right. I just... And the, the first... I, b b to finish up the podcast, uh, the first 10 minutes of that fourth podcast are some of the best we've ever done. <laughs> it's really funny. So any fucking way, we decided to take this uh, opportunity to redo this. To basically, when we recorded this sesh, it was right after, like literally the day of the PlayStation Five stream, where they showed off the price and the games. Mm -hmm. And now we have we're we're much farther from that. We I wouldn't say we have more info. I think we have more, more info on the. I think we have more exp info on the sex. We don't oh, have yeah, more definitely. info on the PS5. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have info on the pre-orders, which we're have like, gone badly. We're like what? A we're we're a month away, right? I believe so, Bernie. We're, we're a month away from the PS5 hey, whoa, whoa. launch, and we still don't know fuck all about Look it. Look at this! Look at this! Oh, Brightness this was right a, this is a pro gamer move right here. He was telling me I gotta learn him away. Nah. Motherfucker just, just did it. Yoink. Motherfucker just did <laughs> I, it. When I was playing this, I did not notice the guardian behind them. Did you not? I did not. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think I would have accidentally walked in if I didn't notice him quick enough. But, uh... Starting off with podcast... Not podcast. Starting off with pre-orders. More podcast. <laughs> On the same day that the PS5 uh, went up for pre-orders, um, the 3090... No, no, 3080 went up for pre-order. The, the NVIDIA wait, graphics card. Wait, no, wasn't it? Th it was, I think it was a 3090. No, the 3090 was after. 
Oh, uh, okay. It was 30, 80 first, 30, 90, and then later on, uh, the 30, 70, and I'll, uh, I think the 15th? Or something? I'm not, uh, I don't remember. Not too, not too sure. Yeah. Uh, basically, how it went down is... It didn't go the down, local? it just... It, it, go, it going down meant that there was some form of, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like something happening. No, nothing happened. If you ever wanted to see what collateral chaos is in a human form, just fucking look at the pre-orders for like the Nvidia graphics cards, the PS5. It's somewhat the Xbox. It's just, it was a mess. It was a horrible the, mess. Okay, the PS5 had okay, PS5 had something uh, that uh, made it a little better than the Nvidia graphics card, but I'll get into that later. Basically, with NVIDIA is you wake up, they, they told everyone what time it was going to drop, which is a big no-no. Because then all the fucking people with bots will be like, all right, set up the bot at this time. So you can tell, you can understand what's going to happen. And so what happened is that if you woke up at like, I think it was like maybe six in the morning, eight in the morning, right? Mm. People looked at the screen, saw the uh, a notify me when it uh, uh, launches. Right? Yeah. They blinked, and then it said out of stock. God damn. I don't, like, I think the only people, like, actual humans that bought the uh, graphics cards were people that went to, like, Micro Center. Or, like, a, per a, a store in, in, like, in person. Where even is our nearest Micro Center? It's somewhere. I think it's, there's, there, look, there's not a lot of Micro Centers in the world. Luckily, there's one in LA, or at least... California. Well, yeah, no, of course. Isn't it in? Da Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't that Micro Center in Downey? I, I, I have, I have no clue. That's like how far is Downey? That's like an hour and a half drive, right? So, like, if I really wanted the 3080, <laughs> I could have drove there, but I, I, I do not have the funds for a 3080. We do not have the money. We do not have the guap for that. <laughs> so now a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, scalpers. Are just selling off the the thirty the thirty eighties they got with bots, right? So all thirty eighties are on eBay right now. For like, there was one going for like fifteen hundred. What? Fifteen hundred for the thirty eighty, a graphics card that I think is fuck. How much is it? Seven hundred dollars. The thirty eighty. The thirty eighty, yeah. No, it's cheaper. It was 30, cheaper. 80. It's cheaper than the. Tw it's cheaper than the. Seven hundred. Is it seven hundred? Seven hundred. The thirty seventy is five hundred, and the thirty ninety is fifteen hundred. Is the th is the thirty seventy better than a twenty eighty Ti? It's better. Yeah. That could be a fucking move. It is the move. <laughs> Too bad, fucking uh. <laughs> Wally's gonna take that from you. I think... I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet with my copy of 3D All-Stars and just accept the loss that I've taken by <laughs> buying it. Just play it. Yeah, fuck it, like... Eh. I could... I, uh, well, actually, the thing that I was thinking about, like, if, um... Hopefully, if I can, like, get uh, a new job soon, uh, and sort of reimburse myself, uh... Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if I can do that and make my money back, uh, I could actually play 3D All-Stars and give you, like, my personal review. Because we've heard everybody say about it, but obviously, like... I mean, you, it's just... You, if you played you, an emulated version of those games, that there it is. Well, yeah, but, like, I, I want to see the, like, all the exact changes. I, the one I'm scared about is Sunshine. I really just hope Sunshine... Come on, man. Fuck. <laughs> so... People were super mad about the NVIDIA drop. Because, yeah. obviously, no one was able to actually buy it. Which is a thing that I hate about, like, just pre-order stuff like that in general. Because, like, you know, the, the I'm a... I, I, we've mentioned it before. I love shoes. Um, getting anything on sneakers, the Nike sneakers app, is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> the thing that, um, online... Okay, in, in when it's in the store, all you just have to do is be the first one in line. Exactly. And you basically claimed your copy right there, right? Yeah. With online, it's just like, you either know the time or you don't know, and you're just waiting there, and then bots take it. 
Like, we're not gonna have some fucking, like, Detroit, uh, become human shit where a bunch of bots are standing outside the store ready for the fucking drop. <laughs> you know? Um, so, what was I talking about? PS5 and PS5 drop. I was talking about NVIDIA. NVIDIA drop. The thing, okay, the thing that's bad is that these stores do not care if bots get it. They absolutely do not care. Because they still get the money, right? And that's all they care about. It's a profit. None of these stores have Kapska. No, and that's stupid. And like, the thing with that, even though it was like, people uh, Kapska is not the be all end all, and there have been bots that have been like progressively give it get to a human. They just or straight up like, just give it to bots, a human. There have been bots that like, how are like get like are getting so good at this point that Hello? I'm really hoping Harry can hear me because the internet. Uh, God damn it, Luis, come back to me. What? Oh no. Uh All right, you're back. We? Okay. Uh what, what were you saying? We're gonna just gonna uh, go can I go podcasty? I'm just gonna put up the podcast picture so we can keep talking. Is it was the episode over? The episode's almost like over. Okay. Um, everything. um what I was saying was, uh, the thing is, like, some of those bots are, like, getting so good that, like, they're, like, even captures now won't stop them, but, like, those require a lot of money, and I think too much money for a person to, like, I think it outweigh, I think, like, of the mon like, the money you're spending on to be able to program a bot like that is outweighing the cost of, like, even just the money Buying you're gonna make thing. back from, uh, scalping that. It. Yeah. The so, profits. uh, obviously not a lot of people are using those, but some people are, and that's- A lot of people are, actually. It's just, I, I wish, I wish there was a full, I wish there was just a foolproof way to prevent against that. And I don't know what that is, but I hate, I hate that Maybe shit like just, that can happen. Uh, the, the only way I can think of is maybe having- Can my desktop in that picture be just the Lucent Harlock Family Feud logo? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, the only way that I can really think maybe is- uh, I think a bot could go past this, but like one PS5 per IP address. But the thing is, that requires coding, that requires time, and the stores just don't care. Yeah. They really just don't care. They're like, don't we sold it. Care. That's it. So now the problem is just now the only way to really fix it is just have a lot of have a lot of uh, inventory of that thing. But the issue that comes with that is that now they don't know how much they're gonna sell. <laughs> yeah, you're you're taking a gamble because the the inherent issue with pre-ordering, in my opinion, is that, and I I don't pre-order stuff a lot because I just don't I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the process in general is sort of meh. Uh, th this the is issue of course like uh different from pre-ordering a digital game, obviously. Yeah, no, a digital game, just like, you proof. can pre-order and it'll be fine, it's just... You wake up the day it comes out, and then it's downloaded onto your console, and you're like, oh, cool. Oh. And then online pre-ordering is a different thing, because... There's a bunch of people who have had their PS5s and Xbox orders cancelled. Yeah, that's... And that just sucks. That fucking... That, and that, also, that you're, rips, probably, you're probably not gonna get your consoles day one, it's probably gonna take a week. Yeah, no, there were people who were talking about, uh... 3D All-Stars on, like, the day it came out, like, their, <laughs> like, their pre-order copy came out the day it came, like, came to them the day it came out, and I had and to then, wait, like, a week after for, like, my pre-order copy to cover, to arrive. Luce was going through it. I was going through <laughs> Amazon it. Amazon hates this man. I, they do. And, like... Well, I don't blame them, too, because California is a really big state, and with the whole COVID situation, it's like... I, I, I could understand it. I wasn't mad about it. Um... Especially for a game I don't super care about. <laughs> with... <laughs> um... With, uh... Yeah, with the graphics cards, they, they gotta make sure that they don't overproduce the stuff. It's it's a far less... It's far less of a big risk, like, what you, were, you and I were talking about with Sony and Microsoft. Where, uh... Sony and... Yeah, uh, PlayStation and Xbox, rather. Where Sony and Microsoft can afford to take a loss. By overproducing, which they didn't, but they can. Whereas something like NVIDIA, like, they don't... If they make more graphics cards than they expect, than they are, like, have set of expectants to sell, they're gonna get be fucked. 
I yeah. I think what happened with PlayStation 5 and Xbox is that they they uh don't it's not that they don't understand is that in the past it wasn't like this. Like I think the PS4 will probably be the last time like well not the last time but where people mainly get their consoles waiting in line. You know? Especially now because of uh, Corona and stuff. People, well, people will still wait in line because they care about it that much. Yeah. Right? The passion is there. The thing is, it's going to be a lot less people and more people are, you know, doing online orders now. Mm -hmm. And also is that more people are buying consoles day one. More people are just like playing video games now. Which the right? thing and they're getting more serious. There's more serious gamers. I don't right? know. I, 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 so I recently listened to uh, the Run Button podcast, which uh, free shout out. I love Run Button. Love their content. Uh, Run Button. It's a great name. Uh, they like uh, Keith and Kyler were talking about how. Uh, I think I don't know, and, I, and I've heard this number too. Uh, I, but I think the study was like er, it was early. It was like during the Wii PS3, like around that launch. Uh, that on average people only have like about 2.5 games per console and I think now that's certainly increased uh, definitely but I, I think but I don't greatly think they increased but I don't think pe- I, I, I'm gonna be honest I don't think people have more than 10 I, the thing with that is that indie games back were not that th- time indie games were not a thing then yeah and also back during that time most people's copies were physical no like most people's copies were physical you know during like during the ps3 time xbox 360 at the beginning people were getting physical because they weren't so used to the store you know and like buying phys- stuff digital me- digital media wasn't even I, i'm gonna be honest i think this might be the first generation music. huh it was only really music at that time no what there i was, was saying was video I- but I think this upcoming generation might be the first one. I don't think it'll take over take physical media. Not yet, at least. But this might be the first generation where uh, it's comparable. Like, well, like maybe like a 60-40, 65-35 split. Are you, are you talking about PS5 generation or generation PS- we're in now? PS5 generation. I think this might be see. the first gen where it's like 65-35 split between like physical, sales physical and digital. digital. Let me see. All right, I see this article one year ago from CCN. I don't know what that is. Let me see. Comedy Central Network. <laughs> it uh, it says PlayStation 4 digital game sales overtake physical. That's a first. Let me see. Um, I can't. I can't find percentages on here. I don't, well, I don't think it were calculated it yet because it's not it's not been a thing that's like super necessary to know, right? All right, screen rant. This is probably a better. Over fifty percent of sales are now digital. Now, but that's lifetime. I think lifetime it'll probably still be physical. I think definitely more people are buying digital games now, for sure. Yeah, for sure. There are people bought physical and most like, and uh, you know, people were using Amazon, but. Most people at that time were going into the like store to get a game, right? Yeah. And some people like might not want to even like take the time to go to a store just to get a new game. We could just go home and just play a regular old game that they love, right? I mean, we 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 spoke about this. I I don't like digital copies of games, not just because I mean there is the aspect which I think as SSDs and uh, solid state media in general becomes more of a standard with video game consoles. I think that's less of an issue than it was during, let's say, like PS3 or Xbox generation where, like, if your console got fucked, all your digital games are just gone. Um, where I think now we're at a point... <laughs> so, I think it was connected to your... It's connected to your account. Yeah, that that's definitely a thing that's improved a lot. Uh, on, uh, I think maybe later on in the PS3 life, they maybe added that. I don't know about early PS3, but definitely think... like later on they added that ability. Yeah, and you so know it's not it's, horrible. You just it's have to not horrible, it but again. it's like, um, you know, there's the <laughs> advantages that like 
I know, like, if you buy, if your PS4 or your Xbone or your Switch gets fucked, um, you can just buy a new one and, uh, your account has all the games that you got on it. Whereas, uh, you know, let's say, fucking, uh, the, the point that I'm making here is that I know myself, I like physical games more, not just because of that aspect, but because of, uh, I like collecting and I like having, like, I like seeing that. Like, I'm the type of person to, like, have, like, that, that, that shelf that everybody has, you know what I mean? Like that <laughs> shelf sure. where like all the games are and stuff. Or, it's definitely more or visually pleasing are. than like yeah. a Steam list of games. Yeah. Uh, I mean, cause I love, I love opening my Steam and seeing all the stupid games that I own, but also at the same time, it would be kind of cool to just like see the boxes, like how I have on the top of my desk. Uh, yeah. However, and, digital release, digital stores have definitely created a place for, um, People, uh, com com companies who weren't, weren't able to even pay for physical releases. You know? Oh yeah, you know I, I I appreciate that company. Uh, I think you have you heard of them? Uh, they're called Limited Run Games. Yeah, they they uh, have like a bunch of like special stuff. I think they have like a Jack's Four Jack Four. Uh, like a special edition where it's like yeah, they, a what if like cover. They they do uh, they do ba they basically provide physical releases for. Indie, indie titles games. or stu or stuff of the sort uh, for peeps who you know don't necessarily have the capital to do so and that's pretty cool. Uh, I just I, I think I, I, you know I, and they brought up this this topic um, you know sort of going away from the physical and digital stuff which is um, now like sort of like seeing the thing of like in retrospect for me. Do you think that the P do you think that the digital ps4 is still much more of a better deal than the uh xbox xbox sus uh the sus um i mean i definitely gotta see how oh fuck I, I i can't really see like this is i'm talking about future here like we talked about it like two episodes ago i think mm. my dog's scratching at the door uh two episodes ago we talked about whether or not there will be a game in the future that will be too much to even be handled by the Xbox Sus. You know? I think, but from what I understand, it's not an issue with, like, from what I understand, it's not, like, the difference between, like, let's say, like, a Switch and a Switch Lite, right? I think, like, graph, like, in terms of, like, the hardware or, like, a PS4 Pro and a PS4 Slim. It's, from what I understand, it's literally just the, like, major difference is that there's no disk drive, and the, uh, it's 1440p instead of The 4K specs ready. are lowered. It's, it's, it's downgraded. Is it superbly downgraded enough for- I don't for know if it's super- let me see. Xbox One- Like, are we talking about, like, a series. Ryzen 7 30, 3, 300X between, like, a Ryzen 7 200X type of difference? Because that's pretty menial, all things considered. Let me see. Um, Xbox Series X has, okay, uh, same CPU, but, uh, the Xbox Series X, I think, is overclocked to 3.8 instead of 3.6. Not that big of a difference. No. But, uh, the GPU has, it's an AMD RDNA 2 GPU. Mm -hmm. Um, the Xbox Series X has 52 CUs. Wow. Yeah. At a higher uh gigahertz is that that's, yeah gigahertz. While the G series, GHZ, yeah. Gigahertz. While the Series S has twenty CUs, and then GPU power, the Xbox Series X has twelve teraflops. Yeah. While the Series S has four. Mm. And then RAM is. Um, let me see. 16 gigabyte GDDR6 RAM, 10 gigabytes at 560 gigabytes per second, 6 gigabytes at 336 gigabytes per second, while the Series S has 10 gig uh, 10 gigabytes of D uh, GDDR6 RAM, 3 uh, 8 gigabyte at 22 uh, 224 gigabytes per second, 2 gigabytes at 56 gigabytes per second. Mm. Right. Right. So basically, it's just what I'm saying is it's not the, stupidly underpowered. It it's isn't. just, however, 
later on, uh, like, we've seen with the last gen, there were some games that went to, like, they, they, they were, like, uh, I forgot what, uh, Halo 5 had, uh, a, a depth, is it adaptive resolution? What is it? Fuck. Uh, what is the term? Basically, the resolution went up and down to keep the same frame rate. Oh, yeah, it's, um, is it variable resolution? Variable. Variable resolution. Right? Uh-huh. Um, even with 360, uh, Halo 3 was at, I think it was like a weird resolution. A lot of games do that, though. Yeah, I know, that's what fair. I'm saying. What if there's a game on the Series X that a company, like, this, this might not even be in Xbox's hand. I don't know if they can enforce it. But what if there's a game that uses the Series X hardware to its full limit at 1080p, like, and then what is going to happen to the Series S version? I think it'll run fine. I think but the like issue- what resolution would- if, if the difference well, is 4K to 1080p, matter Well, no, 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 the, 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 the Series S isn't 1080p, it's 1440p. It's four, I know, I know, I just said that. 1440p, right? What happens if the game is too much to be running at 4K on that Series X, that it runs in 1080p on the Series X, and what happens to the Series S version? Well, what, well, well, that's that's what. Well, that, I think you just answered your own question. If it's too much to run at 4K, then I think they just don't have it at Series S. No, no, no. If it, if it's too much to run at 4K on the Series X, I don't think there would. I just don't think they a 4K mode is going to be implemented at all. No, I mean, what happens to the Series S game? No, the. Well, Wait, my question is, are you asking if a 4K I'm game, like, push, like pushing, like, this game at 4K on the Series X No, no, is I'm pushing, saying, what if a it? game at, what if they can't, they can't run at 4K, so they put it down to 1440p and it runs fine on the Series X? What happens mm. to the Series S version? Run at Will it just be lower frame rate? Run at 1080 and, run at 1080-60 instead of 1440-120. It's just... Who knows what could happen? I think I think they're gonna provide safe. Not, I think they're gonna provide like a fail proof, right? I think I think that has to be a measure of it. Like, I think it'll definitely be a thing of like the situation that they got with the PS4, PS4 Pro, where it's just like, yes, all these games can run on the older hardware, but you if you put them in our like the more modernized console, it'll run better. Yeah, I think it'll I be mean, a difference like that. I don't think it's gonna be that big a deal. I'm gonna be honest. So what I'm guessing is maybe like, if they don't want to be held back that by the Series S, maybe they just uh, be be an exclusive to the PS5. Because this was a thing that be became an issue. That sort of became an issue, uh, uh, not became an issue. Uh, became a topic of discussion in that podcast, With which the is pro. where um, consoles are loss leaders, right? Where you sell obviously. You sell a console at a loss. Everybody does that. There's no company. I think the you make only it up company with controllers. I and think the accessories. only company that has ever sold a console for a, a bonus, a like the hardware itself, I think is Nintendo with the Super Nintendo. I think that's the only console that's ever been like the the lead outweighed the loss, like significantly. Um, but obviously, you know, people buy controllers, people buy the games. Those are where, and obviously, you know, people will be like, well. If Activision made this game. Activision pays a licensing fee to Xbox to have that game on your Series X, Series S, whatever. And also, let's not forget, both of these consoles have their own subscription services. Which... Xbox has two. and I mean, PlayStation has two as well. The, my, my question then becomes is... Which, I brought it up to you. Um, and listening to that podcast made me just question it. Like, what is Xbox... What is its goal, this generation? Because we, we, you and I spoke about that, like... We talked about how they said their exclusives will all... They said for the first year at least, their exclusive will also come to the Xbox One. Not One X, just straight up Xbox One. Right? That so it has to be platform. playable. Has to be playable on the Xbox One. Yeah. Right? So I'm wondering if game, like... How, how long did they... I, I think it's a year? Um, I don't remember. Xbox Series X exclusives on Xbox One. Uh, well, 
can't find it. Do you have the co well, do basically you have the what they're trying to do in the drive? Huh? Do you have the costume quest footage in the drive? Why would I have the costume quest footage in the drive? Uh, bleep I'm celery. doing this because I'm editing the first two costume quest episodes. Oh, I thought you're editing the other. Okay. No, 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 I'm editing the first three. All right. Well, I gotta send it to you. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? Um. The the thing the the way that I said it to you, I think Sony just needs to not fuck it up. I think like as weird as that like sort of may sound, I think like Sony shouldn't relink try to relink. Sony just needs to play its cards right to not relinquish its role as the, like. Second. All right. Hello? Yeah. What were you saying? Oh. Uh, what I was saying was, like, I think the, Sony just needs to not fuck up and to not lose its, like, crown in top first place. I don't, like, and for Microsoft, I don't know what they're doing, and I don't even, like, but I have, like, an idea for what Microsoft can do. I don't know what Nintendo is gonna do. I don't. Like, this is, this is the first time since... Probably shut the fuck up, Gary. I think this is probably the first time ever where there's like no clear path of like how to succeed for Nintendo. Cause for the Wii U, the path to su succession was just make a powerful console. And they went a different way. But it's, they still succeeded. It's not powerful, but, but it's, it's not a full like succeed. It's 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 better than Wii U hardware with a gimmick that made people really want it. Yeah. And I think I can't X uh Nintendo has been losing the power uh the power war in consoles since GameCube. Not since GameCube. The last time they were in the power war, you know, equal to other consoles. Well, no, the was GameCube. Well, that's what I was gonna say, like, the last time Nintendo was winning the Power War was the fucking Super Nintendo. And, like, the last time- but they were like, still close enough to be able to- Well, actually, the Super Nintendo stuff, there was vastly different from Gen- Like, not Genesis, what is it? But it was is more it powerful. Genesis? Yeah, it was the Genesis, that was the competitor to that gen. Yeah, the um, Genesis was more powerful, right? Yeah. Well, no, the Super Nintendo was more powerful. Um, Are you sure? Because I, I swear people just kept saying the Genesis had the better- Most of the better versions of the game. Like it's just, that the, it's just that the Genesis versions often got optimized better because it was easier hardware to work with since it came out two years earlier. So, mm -hmm. um, they were like, when these companies, like, uh, I think Capcom did the Aladdin game, uh, Capcom already knew what the fuck, how to operate with the Genesis hardware compared to their, like, Super Nintendo counterpart where they were just like, what? <laughs> uh, and, like, the last time... Yeah, the last time the Nintendo had a console that was, like, comparable was, like, obviously, aside, obviously the GameCube had the best, like, graphics horsepower of that generation. Uh, the Xbox could do better resolutions. Uh, it could go up to 1080i, which is kind of weird thinking about a console in 2001. But, mm -hmm. uh, it was, the, the graphics on the GameCube are, like, the graphic horsepower, horsepower on the GameCube is way better than the PS2. Um, but it wasn't, like, the strongest console of that generation. Uh, Obviously, but when did, when did the Xbox come out compared to the GameCube? Was it late? I, I think. Well, I think it came out a little bit after afterwards. I think the GameCube was mm -hmm. like, I think the GameCube was like late two thousand one, and like I'm talking like summer, late summer two thousand one, and the Xbox was uh, like November two thousand one. Seeing during that time, being later, like. Was, it was a huge more advantage. beneficial to you. Yeah. Now, if you're later, people have already gone to the other console. Well, the, the, the difference like is too, now. though, is that the PS2 and GameCube aren't built on PC architecture, which the Xbox was. I know, but I'm saying that like 
that extra time definitely did help them like make like not only look at what the competitors had but like they had they both, they both had a hardware. year to see what the ps2 was doing yeah so like back then definitely coming out later was beneficial now it's not as beneficial because obviously playstation 5 and xbox are trying to do this little like foot race to see like or not foot race but like they're both like on guard to see who would release their prices first yeah they were so like the playing other one chicken with each them. other like trying to be like are you gonna say are you gonna say are you gonna fucking say that price dog or what's, what's up it's like dude, just say it, just say it <laughs> but they definitely don't want to do that with the release dates because the i think it's like a fuck it's like in the same week i believe those two the xbox coming is out. coming out two days earlier right yeah i think so yeah two days two days and if if like a month could even like not a month maybe like two three months could be like detrimental as a person nowadays, who <laughs> as a person who bought a wii u at launch uh and who's never bought any other console at launch um i just want to say if you buy consoles at launch like why like why <laughs> just to have it just to be able to play those games. Yeah, what games are you going to play on your Xbox Series X, Harry? Hey, look. <laughs> they were going to release Halo. They gonna. They were. They gonna. <laughs> Why are you talking Not about anymore? gonna? Um, uh, well, what I was saying with Nintendo is that it has, since the GameCube, the last time Nintendo was equal was with the GameCube. Yeah. After that, Nintendo kind of entered this area of secondary console. Right? I think it's Most because... Most people, when they think of getting a new console, they're like, PlayStation 4 or Xbox. Right? Well, the thing is, though, we go, which, you know, we give a lot of shit to Nintendo for it, but we have to remember something. The best-selling console of that generation was the Wii. Yeah, the, I mean, yeah. It, it was really cheap. Not, not re how, how much was it? It was two hundred dollars, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that's fucking cheap for the like, especially with PlayStation Three. Like, we'll sell our console for six hundred dollars. We don't <laughs> I care. It was six hundred dollars. <laughs> and then Xbox was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> what was that? What was the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty price? I think it was four hundred. Four hundred. It came out a year like, earlier, though. And then Wii's like, "Watashiwa." Watashiwa. <laughs> Watashiwa. Wii deska. <laughs> Definitely, the price made it a lot more like. A better choice and also people were really big Nintendo like Nintendo was the one that had the fans well like Nintendo had a lot of support at that time mm -hmm. they still do but um at that time it, it's like nobody saw Nintendo as like what like how like how like during the Wii U now era. Nintendo was definitely at his worst during Wii U right it's and just so we people bought it right because they saw a cool thing and then when the Wii U came out the advertising the advertising is was horrible right a lot of people like still like there's still people to this day that think the Wii U is still just like at an add an add-on to your fucking Wii because of how bad they marketed it would you think like, it would have succeeded you, much do you think it would have succeeded much if they had it named it a different thing oh definitely it would have done way better do you think it would have done like would have taken it out of third place of that generation better or no no because i mean if it's still the same oh, okay console, this, th okay this is my question under power do you think the switch would have come out had the wii u been more successful <sighs> it, do i think the switch would have come out if the wii u was more successful because the mean, switch definitely. basically was born the switch basically was born out of the failure of the wii u because the development of the switch began in 2015 and by that point, the Wii, U, the Wii U had been out for three years. I and by that point, everybody already knew that, like, we're now going to win with this hardware. We need to get into the heads of Nintendo uh, before Wii U and what they were thinking. They wanted to make... The re the second screen was not just a gimmick to have a second screen, obviously. But, but it was a good gimmick, idea. I know, but the biggest part was it was being able to play your games like handheld. Your console, quote-unquote, games. Right? And I yeah. think the Switch is just like... a refined version of that i the think only, the switch still would have came out the only disadvantage i guess to me of the switch is that um even though 
it's still mm. underpowered compared to like PS4. Oh no, no, no. Uh, yeah, of course. But I'm saying like I think the I think the like disadvantage to me of the Switch is the fact that there's no second screen because like um because you you the second screen comes in handy, especially in games like Zelda or whatever where you have like you can put your map there or you can put your items I mean, there. But it's super quick, easy stuff. Like it's convenient. Thing, it's not necessary, one, but it's convenient. The one thing, like. Those can all be just put into like a menu most of the time, right? Yeah. Now, the thing that they lost was definitely the the 5v1 games. Those games that can only be played if someone has a separate screen from everyone else. Yeah. We we you can't really do that on the Switch, right? Yeah. So that kind of sucks. So that's just one thing and also uh the Wii U uh you could use Wii Mo controllers. With the Joy Cons, you couldn't, you couldn't just pull out your Wii Motes, right? And the Joy Cons are super expensive to like produce, so it's like, you know, just there's no backwards compatibility with those controllers. I wanted to ask, which you, sucks. Um, fuck. There are because I I've like seen people like vehemently hate a console. Like, do you are hate you the ask Wii U? Me, do I? I don't hate the Wii U. I've had a lot of good times with the Wii U. However, it, it as a console, I look on it and I, I just think to myself, what was Nintendo doing? It's kind of like a conf the, the console confuses me more than like I'm angry at it. I'm not super angry at it. Yeah, you know? no, because I, I, I see these people all the time be like angry about the Wii U. And it's like, I think these are the people who like saw the Wii U and were angry about it and then just never bought one. Because like every person, every person I've angry? ever like, met. What are these people saying? Like, these are all the people, like, uh, and uh, the console war people. These are always the console war people, right? The um, console war is stupid. I still think there are, like, subjective, like, not, 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 objective, like, like, facts about a console. Like, right? Okay, this is the thing that I always say, like, about the Wii U is that, like, everybody hates it until you actually play one and you realize that, like, you probably don't actually hate it as much as you do. It's a good party console. That's, I'll give it that. I think Nintendo Land is probably. I'm surprised Nintendo Land wasn't bigger because that game is fun, at, like with a bunch of people. I mean, I mean, it came it came free with your fucking Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> no, it didn't. I got the first Xbox like ever, dude. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the first Wii U known to man. I cut the no, white you're one. <laughs> Oh, the people who bought the white one, I feel so bad for them. I got the black one at launch. It just 32 gigabytes. I didn't get gigabytes. the Wii U at launch. Hmm? Uh, it was like, I think it was it was a Christmas pre present for my grandmother. It came and out it was the new Christmas, Super right? Mario Brothers U version. It came out close to hmm? Christmas, right? No, no, I didn't get it at launch. Did you get it the year after? I got the the version of it that was new super mario brothers wii u with the ouija version oh that was like 2014 or 2013. let me see when the fuck did this come out console makes are weird <laughs> <laughs> um but just going works. back to like the initial topic of discussion what i was like going for it here is like what do you think is the plan for both xbox and nintendo going forward okay I want to talk about Nintendo right now. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo, like I was saying, is a secondary console now. Right? People think about... People don't think it's... Okay, there are some people that still think it's like PS4 versus... Or not PS4. PlayStation versus Xbox versus Nintendo. I don't... Like... Um, I remember there was a poll somewhere... Like a year ago, I think, maybe two years ago, basically asking what consoles people had, right? Mm. And it had all like all the console combos of th uh, this generation. Yeah. Most people, I th okay, I think most people just had one uh, one console, right? Well, that's but just to the, be expected. But like the most common, the most I think I know the poll you're talking about, wasn't it? The most common one was PS4 and Switch. Yes, PS4 and Switch. Because if you look at the PS4 and Xbox, they have all third-party games are there. 
right? The PS4 had all these exclusives, which made it win over the Xbox. But the Xbox and PlayStation 5 were similar in like, like what kind of games it has. Whereas the the Switch has a complete different like set of its own games. They have some ports, but um, Nintendo's biggest draw will and always will be its first party. Of course. Whereas, like uh. Xbox, although it had Halo, I mean, it's not the same as it was once before. What fucking, what Xbox One first party game is like your hype game? Like worth the Xbox? What, what? <laughs> like, this is what I'm saying about like the console launch of this year. Like, I really love Demon Souls, so that's why I would buy a PS5. But in the grand scheme of things, like, would I buy a console solely for PS5? Uh, would I buy a PS5 solely for Demon Souls? Probably fucking not. And like, there's no, I, I refuse to believe anybody who tells me that there's a fucking Xbox Series X game. No, there isn't. There's none. You're gonna play your Assassin's Creed again? Fuck I'm you. I'm looking through a list. None of these games would make me get the console. Like, <laughs> not a single one of these. Like, there's Spider-Man Miles it Morales, PS but like, I, I'd want to play that game, but that's not, that's not your console seller to me. Obviously. The console sellers are coming later. Like God of War 2. Now, PlayStation 4 wait. had Spider Man, God of War. Wait. What? Wait. Wait, wait a has, second. Hasn't there it's, already been a God of War 2? Wait. <laughs> I guess it's just going to be called God of War Ragnarok. Uh, <laughs> don't confuse it with Thor Ragnarok. Um, PlayStation. Okay. I don't want to start a console war. Or start console it, fight. Start it. But the PlayStation 4 had better exclusives. Then I'm what? Sorry. The, the Xbox Forza One? Forza does not... Huh? Then the Xbox... Xbox One, yeah. What, what, what do you mean? What, what console are you starting here? You're just speaking facts. I, I know. Look. Xbox fans love to bring up Forza. That does not compare to... This, this does not compare to Spider-Man. I'm playing fucking Spider-Man. I'm playing as Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. You can't stop me. Who Spider Man is better than cars? I'm okay, sorry. But have you ever have you ever met have you ever met a Forza person who is legitimately like an amazing human? I think there's some correlation there, bud. You don't gotta do Gary like that, man. <laughs> I'm doing Gary like that. Like Halo isn't like what it was it used to be, and it's not just a nostalgic thing. I've been playing Halo 3 since it's been on PC, PC, and I've been playing it a lot. Like, it's, like, how it was back then. And it's so fucking, like, it's still fucking fun to play. Halo 5 wasn't horrible, but there, was, there wasn't anything amazing about it. The PlayStation 4 had fucking, um, Infamous Second Son as, like, was that a launch game? I think so. That game's fucking good, too. Like... PlayStation remember. definitely won clon the exclusives war, which is why PlayStation got back all its fans. I mean, like the, the, the Xbox 360 was kicking the PS3's ass in in America because um that that was during the time where shooters were its big were the big thing, right? Was was that was that generation the first time the PS3 like a Sony console was like the clear like number three? Um. I, uh, mm, mm, Cause mm. in in the the PS One, like people love to like say that the, it kicked the N64's ass, but like people forget that it was like it was really one A and one B. It wasn't like one okay. and two. PS Three at the beginning, it three. got washed, but it came back. I think once it they lowered back. the price, once they, they lowered, lowered the, the price, price, and they were definitely getting better games. They had Uncharted Two, Three. Uncharted One is okay. Um, Last of Us. Oh, like Those a, are all like just the Naughty Dog games. And then people started seeing that JRPGs are good games. PS3 had... Wait. I'm pretty... Wait. Hmm? Wait. They're good games? They're good games. <laughs> um, Can't let me see. Be. PS3 exclusives. Exclusive games. Um, well, PS... PS... Uh, well, actually... <laughs> PlayStation Ulster is better. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4. Right? Good game. Um, Great game. 
Why can't I find a good picture? Why is this- Why is this all just fucking someone's collection? My fault. <laughs> uh... Kung Fu Panda. Demon Souls. Right? Demon Souls <laughs> came back. <laughs> Little Big Planet is not that bad. The Infamous series. They're both good games. Um, God of War. God of War 3 was really big. Mm. Um... It's just people kind of overlook the Japanese stuff. Cause, you know, the look at the gamer like the average gamer during that time is like, the, oh my fucking god, my kill streak's so high. Oh my god, I love using the M4 wasn't in Call the, of Duty Modern Warfare Five. Wasn't the world a much better place when Call of Duty games came out like once every two to three years instead of once every six months? Um, it's not once every six months. No, but it feels like that, right? Um, yeah, I've kind of, so, um, Call of Duty games started slipping past me after, well, when the PlayStation 4 launched. Um. What COD, what was the most recent COD when that came out? Ghost, I think it was Ghost, no, and no, then no, Advanced Go Warfare. Wait, d no, cause Ghost was, Ghost was like Ghost a- Ghost was Cross, Cross Generation. Was it a lot? was it a, like, did it come out after they launched though? Uh, let me see. Ghost release date. Because, like, the PS4 came out in, like, November 2013 or something. Call of Duty, November 5th, 2013. Hmm. Um, so that was... Yeah, I, I, I clocked out after Ghost. Um. I clocked out after Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Black Ops 1 and 2 were actually really fun. You I know, I, really good games. I like Black Ops 1. I just never played Black Ops 2. I think, isn't Black Ops... But, like, everybody always... Like, the thing was that Black Ops 2 was always, like, the better one. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Every Call of Duty game after that didn't matter until the one that came out last year. Modern Warfare, which is actually fun to play. Is that a remake, or...? Um, Does it it's just a reboot. <sighs> it says remake as Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I, I, it should, uses the that's same characters, a, that's it's a, a whole different That's story. a really good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> um... But Final Fantasy VII Remake just kind of like... Pretends to be... Like, just like... And hey, we're just remastering the game, don't worry about it. It's, it's the just, same story. Nope, it's not the same story, you fucking idiot. Why'd you buy this game? Like... This I, is a different story. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but like... They, a, a character who dies just doesn't die. <laughs> like, what? We drinking that. We, we smoking that Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. <pack. laughs> um, what the fuck were we talking about? What yeah, is Nintendo's the, plan the PS3 going is forward? Over, the PS3 was overlooked, in my opinion, in terms of the game selections. However, the UI sucked. <laughs> How it handled its online sucked. Compared to the 360. Well, you think the 360 UI on, had parties? You think the UI on, th on the PS3 sucked? Okay, it. I'm not talking like the design of the UI is cool, mm. but um, compared to how quick and fast, like the the Xbox 360 stuff loaded up, the PS3. Hold like, on, Harry. We have to remember reason, though, the 360 yeah. for like the first okay, like four the years, the UI was garbage. You know what I was thinking? What? Is there, like, talk, just talk about UIs. The UIs at the beginning of consoles always like. Somebody getting shot Not even talking out about my looks, but they What suck. is happening? <laughs> I have no clue. I'm not in your room. So when the PS4 had its UI, it was very bare bones. All the UIs have been bare bones at the beginning. Right? I This the is crazy UIs dude outside, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I just- it just got me thinking like, will the PS5 be super bare bones at the beginning? Because the PS5, as of now, you can have a custom background. You can have folders, right? I'm just imagining a world launch, where you load in disc, and, uh, where you put in a disc, and it just says "game." <laughs> it's like a white background. Nothing else is there. It's just like a black text that says "game." <laughs> like the PS4 had, like, I swear, I can't remember. But I don't remember- I don't think it had a library. At the start. The PS3? I think it was or literally oh, the all your- The PS4. I think it was literally all your games. 
in the order you played it. I, that, I think that's stupid. Oh, wait, oh. I think I'm being stupid right now. The Switch I think there that. was a library. Yeah, but now I you're able to that. put it in folders. Bro, the Switch? They need to fucking update its UI. It hasn't Give changed, the right? Themes. Like, they, they literally have a menu called themes, and literally the only themes is just basic white, basic black. And it's stupid because, like, the 3DS had a There's bunch no of browser. themes. There's no web browser. The 3DS had web browser at launch. Did it? Did it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Wii U did, too. At launch! Watch porn on that chat. Uh, the Wii... <clears throat> the Wii got it a little bit later. Yeah, uh, that's just a Wii. I just, I just hope <laughs> the PS5 doesn't come out in the, like, you can't set, like, a custom background. You, you can't do library. Harry, just fucking you admit it, Harry. You want Linus as your background again. Yes. Oh, why can't I have that? Why does PlayStation hate Linus? <laughs> um, God, going back to the original topic. I just, I, I don't fuck? see, like, it's not that I don't see a way forward for Nintendo. It's just that they're in such a weird position where... They, they played out, they played out the secondary console ro role. Right? Because most of the time it's like PS4, PS5, and the PS4 or Xbox One. Ah, uh, PS4. Hey, that Switch looking kind of good. I, I should get a Switch. Right? Yeah. So it's like... Um... Thinking, thinking, thinking. It's in, it's in this weird position where... Like... Right now... It is... It's getting some support from third party, definitely more than the Wii U. <laughs> However, there are that many games much? that are not able to run. And like, also the Switch came out at such a weird time. We talked about like the generation stuff. Where the fuck the Switch at? The Switch and Wii U are just counted in the same generation, but the Switch is also going to be counted in this upcoming generation as well. It's the, the thing is, if we like, instead of looking at release date, if we looked at the power of the console, <laughs> The fucking... The Wii and the GameCube are basically the same. Literally, it's a CPU and GPU change. Like, upgrade. I think that's literally it. And, like, the Wii U is more of, like, a 360 PS3 era console. But you couldn't have that kind of console back then, because, like, having a second screen and putting that with the console would have been expensive. It would have been... And they, it would have been upwards of $500. Yeah. And they, they didn't really want... They didn't want to do that. Um... So it's like, and the switch, the switch, the switch hardware. It's not that. It's not that. It's like. It's not that. It's PS4, Xbox One hardware. It's just. It's. It's weird. It's like. It's. It's in its weird limbo. It's. It's better than the Wii U, but it's not like. It's. It's not caught up to the PS4, Xbox 360. But it's clearly better not than like a PS3 or an Xbox 360 as well. Yeah. So it's just sort of. In the middle. Yeah. But it came out later than the other consoles? But it's, like, it's also coming out earlier than it's, like, sort of main competition? I don't- what the fuck? And, like, you, now this is where we get into big uh, speculation talk. Mm. Is, what are they gonna do next? Seaman. See, what they've done is, now that the 3DS production has been closed off- I think that was only in right? Japan. Was that everywhere or only in Japan? Um... I, I don't know. I'm guessing everywhere. Um, Nine years run as an active console, though. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, head work, please. Brain, <laughs> big brain work. Monkey um, brain must function. They're... They kind of... Like, with the, with the Switch, they kind of merged... Because they had two different lines of cons quote unquote consoles the handhelds and just the home consoles. Now we're at the, the com combination of the two. They could go either stick with handheld or they could go home console. But the thing is, people have the expectation of the Switch like, oh, the Switch is so portable. I love that about the Switch. But sometimes, what is their you home just console wanna, gonna be? You wanna dock your console and play on the TV. Like a madman. 
Are are you, are we the only? Am I the only human being in this world who's like never used this switch like portable mode? Bro, people buy people buy the switch light. Come on, what do you think? Oh, that's true. I'd buy. I'm the type of person to buy a switch light. Um, I I just like leaving it I there. Can s it's just gonna be super weird having the switch, this super portable handheld console thing, and then it. What if the next one's just a home console? What I'm thinking would be in their best interest is maybe splitting off again. <laughs> just like, I, we came together, now we split off. Handheld, home console. Do you think Nintendo t Do you think Nintendo sort of raises a white flag this generation and just decides to come back the next one? In the sense of, I mean, in the sense of, I mean, like... If they do, for whatever reason, make a new console during this generation, uh... Do you think the, do you think their move is to just play entirely to the portable market and then just the generation following that be like okay now we're like ready to come back into the hardware like the like the the main uh TV console hardware They could do that but the rule is two Zelda games and the console dies <laughs> two two Zelda games into the next console Has that really <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, the the Wii to the, the GameCube to Wii is a little weird one because they they split they split Twilight Princess into two I'm, different I'm, I'm beings. Calculating. There's Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and now Breath of the Wild one, Breath of the Wild two. We're not gonna count Hyrule Warriors one and two, even though Hyrule Warriors two is more of part of the Breath of the Wild trilogy. We're not gonna talk about that though. It's called Hyrule Wars 2, but it's Breath of the Wild uh, 0. <laughs> I was going to say, um, that war any, any any ass only had two Zeldas. The Super Nintendo only you had know. one. Look, they, they, look. Look. I don't know what they did with that one. I don't know what they were doing. Wasn't there a Zelda game that was like... That was, that they were trying to do for SNES? They were planning? For it's, um, so what happened is that that's sort of what became out of the Philips CDI, which is, um, uh, and we're, we can go into that topic another fucking time, but basically, uh, Nintendo was just trying to make a CD attachment with Sony, Sony said, nah, uh, Philips got involved, and then Nintendo was like, yeah, this hardware is not really worth it, and then Philips was just like, can we still use your IPs for whatever the fuck we want to do, and Nintendo was like, yeah, sure, fuck it. <laughs> I think once we see Odyssey, Odyssey 2... We should be worried about what, what's going to happen. Do you think there's an Odyssey too? Because I think it's very possible. Well, not, not that I'm, not that I'm asking if there's another 3D Mario game. Obviously, that's going to happen. I'm saying I'm asking like, do you think that's that's the title? <laughs> it might not be called Odyssey Two, but I think they're going to keep Cappy. I think Cappy is here to stay. I don't know. Because it, it ends. I mean, Galaxy ended with like. <laughs> Him still on the ship, mm. right? Going off on doing stuff, and him, and then Odyssey is keep like, Mario doing keep oh, Mario. Man, he's not doing that stuff. <laughs> Mario just kind of just like drops whatever he's doing <laughs> and just goes on to another adventure. I, I'd like to remind everyone I the plot I, of like the plot of Super Mario Land One is literally like he just shows up in this like he just shows up in Sarasa Land and is like, all right, what up, boys? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Mar hello, <laughs> Mario. Hello, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Look, we already got- we're about to get two Zelda games. Now, look, I don't know what Zelda gonna do. I mean, I mean, look, Super Switch. Okay, if a Super Switch comes out, will you count that as a different no. console? Now, what if it's way- like, what if it has its own library of games? Or- What if it's a Switch 2? Are you saying this under the pretext of the it can play Switch games, original Switch games? Let's say it has backwards compatibility no. to the Switch, but let's say it's like a 3DS. It's like the 3DS to the DS, I guess. Um. Ah. Uh, like the like the okay, like the Wii to the GameCube, the Wii that has backwards compatibility. That's tough. 
Oh, no, no, Wii U to Wii. There, there we go. That's tough. Because, mm. I mean, with the Switch, is, is Switch the best, like, is Switch the best that handhelds can be? No. No, because graphics cards are doing better with, uh, definitely doing better with making the smaller, you know, stuff for, like, smaller chips for the handheld. And certain CPUs with integrated graphics are getting much better at having integrated graphics. So the next Switch, they could go just... Oh, but like they can't they can't catch up to the PS5, right? That'd be not how I mean I mean, uh, I mean be they could like they could but they just got to wait a little bit. See what see what Nvidia or AMD are doing. This is right? what well, this is what I what I what I said to you. I think Nintendo has to I don't know if they have to like drop the like handheld thing, but what they I think it they could definitely have, they definitely need to move been. on to PC architecture because no a Nintendo console has ever used PC architecture and it's clearly obvious at this point. <laughs> I think it needs to at least be equal to the sus, the sus, right? Yeah, because the sus is very compact. I think I think that's right? like yeah I think you're right. I think that's the bar. Like that's the bar right there for Nintendo. Because if they try to go above that, there's going to be problems with, like, you know, fan cooling. Because these these cons these new consoles are so very, like, more than ever, infants, uh, emphasizes cooling. Like, the whole Xbox, the only reason it's that even cheap is for air intake, you know? That's the whole, re like, reason for creating such, like, a, a different looking console. And then the PS5, you literally can see the air vents going around the entire console. God, that's such an ugly fucking hunk of shit. <laughs> Definitely gonna paint that shit. I just if I want get if it. they come out with like a like a PlayStation One, like like they did with the PS4. Like if they come out with that color, like that gray, and like with the special edition controller, mwah, Chef's kiss. That's my console right there. <laughs> I love when they do throwbacks. I think that's so cool. Will, will Nintendo continue being like the <laughs> releasing in the middle of generations? I hope not. I think. I mean, if they stick with handheld ways. If they do what you suggested of like making like a Super Switch, which best name ever, uh, I think it would probably come out. Probably not going to go with that. This year, I mean, not this year. Uh, next, like some point, like late 2021, early 2022. I mean, there, there, there's been multiple rumors of the 4K Switch, right? Maybe they'll do a 4K Switch, like maybe next year. Test the waters, sort of thing. Right? Not test the waters. Like the 4K Switch is literally just able to just do 4K docked, maybe 1080p Handheld. undocked, yeah. right? It's probably gonna still be the same architecture, but it's gonna be like. Hey, look at this. Uh, it's like an it's like a new 3DS the... upgrade where it's like yeah, yeah. this is and then you... middle of this generation this next generation <sighs> they released the super like the actual like super switch like the switch sequel. I don't know. Like that's what I'm saying. Like do you think they just take a generation and decide to like sort of play this one out with the switch hardware or do you think like they I don't think they could play it out. I mean Okay, they could, but I don't think they would. Right? Like, they're able to hold their own with first parties. However, they definitely still want some third party support. I mean, the we, I mean, the, and I think they, they want to experience like, this with, they've experienced both sides of this. I mean, the Wii clearly showed that you can have first party titles carry a console entirely, but. Yeah. The Wii U and GameCube showed that you can't carry a console without any third-party games at all. And so they can do the Super Switch. Okay. <sighs> Super Switch. I'm getting a, I'm getting a time warning, if so it's... we got to wrap this up. Yep. We just don't know what's going to happen with Nintendo. They're I don't think they're gonna, like, disappear anytime soon. No, I don't think they ever will. Obviously, it's Nintendo. 
They're not like a thing. They're not. But Nintendo like, is not like because I've heard people be like, "Is Nintendo going to be the?" They're next, not on thin ice. Is Nintendo going to be the next Sega. It's like people forget that Sega wasn't a name. Like the Master System largely failed, and then the Genesis shot into skyrocket, and then every hardware since after the Genesis just like didn't do well. So it's like it's not like Nintendo is just like Sega, where it's like they suddenly got popular. It's like they've been in the fight the entire time. It's only really recently like. The game, the Wii U is the first console Nintendo ever had where it was clearly like the worst. Like with yeah. the Wii, like yeah, it was underpowered, but people can make arguments about the Wii. Well, it was underpowered, but the games were I amazing. I guess. Yeah, I mean, even Nintendo, like, Nintendo wants to for forget about the Wii U. It was just so, it was it, it was such a letdown. The Wii U didn't even to get what, its own Zelda game. Like, the previous generation had done for them because like. Like I said, like, people always forget that the Wii actually was the, like, leading console seller of that generation. Sure. I'm, I'm stupid. I was talking about the, the, the consoles, uh, consoles end when there's two Zelda games. The Wii U only had, uh, I mean, it had the HD remaster of Wind Waker, but it, the only other Zelda game was, like, the spin-off. Oh, no, I had, had two Zelda games. I mean, do you count the HD re-release as a, another Zelda game? No, but like, I'm, well, not just counting them, but I'm saying like, it, it got two HD remakes. <laughs> and the Hyper Warrior. Hyper Warriors is good. <laughs> um, I don't know what was going on with the Wii era. They were doing uh, some shit. I guess last thing before we wrap up is, uh, what's your opinion on the memory, the Xbox, the Xbox? memory card thing? Like, do I think it's, like, think too, it's expensive? too expensive? Um... It was, like, a hundred... It was a hundred dollars for How fast right? is the Xbox SSD? It was, like... It was, like, only, like, forty dollars away from the sus... The mm. sus price? God, fuck <laughs> these naming. Bro... <laughs> we didn't talk about the pre-orders for Xbox. And PS4, PS5, um, they don't, they're not being super, like, trans, like, they're not being transparent right now. Sony they're is being playing super, like, like, Sony is playing like a team that's no in the reason. lead and is like, they're letting the other, they're letting the uh, like the other team come back. Like, they have a thirty point lead, but like, they keep letting the other team hit threes, and it's like, bro, play defense. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I I think next week they're gonna start showing off stuff, but like, that Jesus took a Christ, while. why why didn't you show earlier? Because like the Xbox, way back then when they when they, I think when they like a week maybe after I think they like the week they announced the it, I saw like an Austin Evans video like hands on with the Xbox Series X, and yeah. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, they even showed off a little bit of the menu too. I don't even know. <laughs> I, I don't mean, even it was know very. If the PlayStation Five has a UI. We don't know what it looks like. <laughs> they don't. It just it just boots like the PS2. PS2. Can they please bring it back the PS2 icon like save save icons? Like the PS3 kind of had it, but the PS2 one just Personally, my hit favorite different. UI is like the, the NES spinning UI. 3D look. <laughs> oh, my favorite. Um. Yeah, we, we literally just like breaking it down, like like destroying, it, like taking it apart in front of all the Xbox <laughs> guys. <laughs> hey guys, this is I love Austin Epics. <laughs> um, and now uh, we just saw just backwards compatibility having a big boost, which PlayStation Five will also have a boost to like previous games, but they just haven't announced what it in the it? right way. What is the one percent? I need to know. Like, it's <laughs> the one percent is the Tiger game. That Tiger game was horrible. If it's fucking knack, I'm um, riding that console. <laughs> they they said they had a boost mode. Of, like, wait, so it's not emulation, right? They said it or in such a weird way that it? it is what emulation. Eh. No, I think Xbox One no, is not, not emulation. Wait, no, no, no. Um, 
Xbox, is it emulation? OG Xbox and 360 are, Xbox One isn't. I mean, they're obviously emulation. I think Xbone isn't. Yeah. The craziest thing about that backwards compatibility was the FPS increase in 360 My games. Motherfuckers went hard in the paint. Like, playing G GTA 4, uh, I don't know why they went with GTA 4 and not GTA 5, but... I swear they gave them like a list of games to play, like, you can only play these games on this Xbox. And so GTA 4 got like, went from like... 30 to... I don't want to just save 60, but definitely much smoother. Yeah, and the right? texture they got the textures increases. And that's are just crazy to too. Me. Yeah, like the the backwards compatibility I, to me, like I, I don't know what like for regular people. To me, like I'm the type of person to like to play shit on original hardware, but like if I were to record mm -hmm. that, like fuck yeah, I'd love to play that on the Xbox Series X. Or if it works good, go ahead. I remember when the 360 backwards compatibility compatibility came out and the first game was halo reach and it just didn't mm. work right like i think it was longer loading times frame drops and they just they've they've updated enough to like make it they work updated, just, they updated it so, so well crazy. people are like now praising it and that's pretty good yes because now we have the xbox series x is Fucking name. a console that has games from all the generations it was a like that entire like fran like a franchise, but the, uh, all the generations Xbox was a part of. Now, obviously, it's not every single game, but it's like the games that most of the games that matter. You know, there's still stuff like Max Payne Three that isn't on three six like on the backwards compatibility for some reason. But like those can be added later. Where is Connect Adventures? And I just wish PlayStation. <laughs> I wish PlayStation had that, and that fucking graphic. That has extra room for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1 pisses me off. Why? Like, it's like the guy in the back was like making it. He's like, oh, this is fucking cut. is gonna be so cool. And then the guy's like, no, 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 we ain't doing we that backwards do compatibility shit. Take that, delete those. But sir, I spent so much rendering out this 3D, 3D just, thing, like just, space just of a that. P. Should I should I like put it in the center? No, we don't have time for that. Conference is right now. The console shipped yesterday. Okay, here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that should um that should that should pretty Xbox much do it. Just, I got I ain't got time left. Um. Um. Fuck any developers that don't give a free upgrade to previous games or to people that owned a previous game. Just want to quickly say fuck the. Publishers, not the developers, the publishers for Control, because they uh, they said they can only give a free upgrade to PS5 if you got the Ultimate <laughs> Edition, but not for people that bought the original co Control plus the Season Pass, which is the same thing as Ultimate Edition, and they said, that, oh, it's not possible, we can't do that, until they accidentally did it for like a like half a day, and they're like, uh, turn that off immediately. <laughs> just get rid- just get rid of the text. <laughs> it's just them being assholes. <laughs> like, like, people got free upgrades, like, oh shit, this is sick. And then they took it away, it's like, why? Why was I <laughs> given this power? Ah. Uh, Xbox Smart Delivery is much better. Basically, uh... Like... To finish up this whole thing, yeah. um, if you're gonna buy a console next generation, uh, buy a ColecoVision. Thank you. By the, by the Amazon loot. What the fuck? Alright, I'm stopping my recording. Bro, Amazon looked at Stadium and was like, Yes. <laughs> this dying console will be all, <laughs> will be ours. It's streaming. It's streaming. It's Stadia. But with channels. 